What's up, man? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Amen. Hey. It's the first night of the NFL draft, and Auburn linebacker Derek Hall is hoping to hear his name. Man, this is an amazing night. Uh, this night is not about me. It's about my mother and all of you here. Uh, a college football player Paul, faces long odds to be drafted into the league. I wouldn't be sitting in the seat that I'm sitting odds Derek has beaten once before. 22 years ago, when four months before his due date, his mother went into labor and was told her baby would be born without a heartbeat. I remember looking up, it was about 20 physicians and specialists in the room. They said to me that he had a 1% chance of living, and if he lived through the night, he would have no quality of life. He wouldn't walk, he wouldn't talk. And they basically said to me, are you prepared to take care of a child like that? And if you're not, here's this form, sign it. They told her that she basically needs to sign this paper and let life take its course because they knew I wasn't going to make it. I did not sign that form. I could not. I, I had to give him a shot. Derek Hall entered the world on March 19, 2001, 23 weeks premature and weighing just two pounds, nine ounces. Born without a heartbeat, doctors resuscitated Derek and admitted him to the neonatal intensive care unit. She showed me the one when I was in an incubator in the NICU on life support, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is me? Once we got to about the three-week mark where he was taken off the ventilator and just put on a oxygen tube and a feeding tube, we just began to see the small wins. After five months in the NICU, Derek was released from the hospital, but his challenges would continue through childhood. He was cognitively delayed. Um, he was delayed in his motor skills. Monday through Thursday, Derek had home therapy, speech therapists, physical therapists, and it would last about four hours a day. When Derek started elementary school, his mom signed him up for football. But due to his underdeveloped lungs, he would have to sit out for long stretches of practice and games. We had to make in some caveats for him, telling the coaches like, okay, well, he can run for about 10 minutes, and then you may have to pull him out to give him a break. Every winter, we were in the hospital because of asthma or RSV, and his oxygen level dropped. I was laying in the hospital, getting poked and proud on, CT scans, x-rays, MRIs, just getting all this stuff done. That was my first really hard memory where I, was, where I felt kind of heartbroken because I just want to be a regular kid. Once I got in this game of football, it became my way of escape. I fell in love with it and I took off. But really, when I got into middle school, I was like, dang, I'm pretty much unstoppable. Derek would go on to be a standout pass rusher at Gulfport High School. And in 2022, a captain at Auburn, earning first team all SEC. There he goes, Derek Hall. In December, the six foot three, 254 pound linebacker declared for the NFL draft. A milestone that never occurs without his mom's unwavering commitment, even before he took his first breath. My name's the one being called. This is really for her hard work, for her dedication, you know, for everything she's done for me. Welcome back as we are underway for round two. Thank y'all for being here just from the bottom of my heart, because uh, this really means a lot. This night is really, really special. Now let's get to it. None of this has hit me yet. When this whole thing clicks, I'm sure it'll be pretty crazy. Hello? Hey, Derek, it's John Schneider with the Seattle Seahawks. How you doing, bud? Yes, sir, I'm doing good. How are you? Good, man. We're, we're at 37 right here. We're going to make you a Seahawk, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. I got you, Coach. Awesome. Hey, I'm going to grab Coach Carroll. Well, congratulations. Let's hear, let's hear it for him, guys. Let's go. Hey, Derek. It's Pete Carroll. How are you doing, bud? What, what's up, Coach? How are you? Oh, uh, we're fired up. Congratulations. Uh, we're really excited to get you to be part of this thing. We've been waiting on it, and uh, we're, we feel very fortunate that we got you. <laughs> yes, sir. I appreciate it, Coach. Thank you for taking the chance on me, man. All right.
one percent of the world get the opportunity to play in this National Football League, and I had a one percent chance of living. <laughs> That's the definition of defeating the odds. The Seattle Seahawks select Derek Hall, linebacker Auburn. Not everybody's granted the opportunity to have a great mother like I have. If it really wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. Look like we're gonna be a whole bunch of Seattle Seahawks. I just wanted him to have a normal life where he could walk and talk and feed himself. I was just thinking, Lord, let him make it through the night. And here we are 22 years later. And so all of this is a bonus.